this is Kathy, and today we're going to be making gluten-free brownies in the Vitamix A3500. This is my favorite machine. This has five pre-programmed settings on here, one for soups, one for smoothies, one for frozen desserts, one for puree, and one for wash. And what those pre-programmed settings do is it takes the motor up to the speed it needs to go up to, it times itself, and then shuts itself off when it's finished. So it takes all the guesswork out of blending. So we're going to go ahead and get started making the gluten-free brownies today. So in my mixing bowl, I have our dry ingredients. I have cornstarch. Um, now, if you have a hard time finding cornstarch, I had a hard time during this COVID um, thing that we're going through. Um, I had a hard time, and so you can use um, instant mashed potato flakes or tapioca, um, but I was able to find cornstarch eventually. Um, we have some cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder some salt and cinnamon. Cinnamon is kind of like the secret ingredient in here. Um, you wouldn't normally put cinnamon in brownies and it adds that extra kind of flavor to it. So it's really, really good. For the wet ingredients, this is what we're gonna use the Vitamix for. Instead of pulling out a stand mixer, we're gonna go ahead and mix it in the Vitamix. And so um, it's nice because the Vitamix can replace other kitchen appliances uh, that we would normally don't think of. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off. Now this is the 64 ounce container that comes with the machine. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my ingredients. So I have a third cup butter that I just sliced up. I'm gonna add that to the blender. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and take some sugar and put that in. And then I have some vanilla. And I have three eggs. So we're gonna blend this for about 35 seconds. And what I also like about the ascent line is they have digital timers on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the sleep mode and I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for 35 seconds. And you manually have to take it up to the speed it needs to go up to, but when that timer stops, gets to zero, it will turn the machine off. So again, I don't have to time it. So we're just gonna blend this for 35 seconds. We're gonna start on one and take it up to 10, which is high. So here we go. So now we're going to take the liquid ingredients and we're going to add this to our dry ingredients. We're going to mix this up. It smells so good with that vanilla in there. Super easy to clean the container. You just add water. You just fill it halfway with water, one drop of dish soap, run it on high, either on the clean cycle or for a minute, and just wipe it out and you're ready for your next blend. So super easy to clean up. So just mix this together. And then I'm gonna add some chocolate chips to this, some semi-sweet chocolate chips. You could add white chocolate chips. You could add peanut butter if you wanted peanut butter instead. Um, and then you could add any walnuts, pecans. I'm gonna leave the peanuts out of, the walnuts out of this recipe because my family really doesn't like walnuts in their brownies. And then we're gonna pour this into a pan I just want to get this mixed up and this is going to bake for about 25 minutes now the recipe calls for 30 to 35 um, but I like my brownies soft and chewy so I kind of go on the lighter end of the recipe over the cook time get this all mixed together and then this is going to go into a greased pan. This, I'm using a 9x9. Nine nine. It calls for an 8x8, eight eight, but use what you have. I like my brownies a little bit thinner. And add that into here. Super simple to make. I love that I'm making this all from scratch and there's no box 
mix in here, which is great. Set that aside. Go ahead and shake that up a little bit. And here are my brownies with my chocolate chips. Okay, and then when this comes out of the oven, I want to go ahead and after it cools, I want to go ahead and add some powdered sugar. So I have some sugar in here, just granulated sugar, about a quarter cup. And this is our eight ounce bowl that you can use with the Ascent machine. So these come in a set of two with a, with a blade assembly. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and grind up some sugar. So this just fits on top of the machine. Um, this is going to take about eight seconds to make your own powdered sugar. You can use this to grind coffee beans. You can use this to make uh, baby food. You can chop onions, garlic. You can make a little bit of pesto. You can make your own dry rub. So it's really nice to have to do smaller quantities that you can do really quick and easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the sleep mode again. We're gonna go ahead and set the timer for eight seconds. We're gonna start at variable speed one and go up to 10. And here we go. Super quick and easy to make your own powdered sugar. And here's my powdered sugar that I made in eight seconds. Okay, so this is going to go in the oven. I'll show you the finished product after it's done. And thank you so much for joining us and come back again.